Well, hello, hello, welcome back. I'm Claire, this is Purple Poppy, and today I am doing a part two of my Happiness and Crafting Design Team Project for December, where we worked with the retro posters. Now, those of you that saw part one will remember that we cut all the pages to a5 size which is basically in half we came in three quarters of an inch on our scoreboard and we punched our three holes so that the spine was going to be on the outside rather than the normal in the folded inside and this would turn on our score so while i uh, was away from the camera i carried on and finished to get it a little bit more up to date so this is our front cover and that's the inside and then we've got a blank page I put all my pockets on and on my pockets I put chapter one January because I feel like the new year coming is a chapter it's you know each month is the new chapter of the book of the year so chapter one January and I used the small lemonade card to back or front my January diary and I just pop that in the pocket like so and then I had two of the pages left so I basically folded them in half did the score line again but made them into a giant pocket and then all I did was I took the two smaller ones folded them in half and I put some plain white because we haven't done any uh, coffee staining or grunging in this papers inside just to make a little notebook and I did that twice so I did the, this one with the yellow because it sits with the lemonade and then obviously we've got February in our pocket with the donuts and our February calendar and I just worked my way through and then we've got a plain page here if you want to put some photographs or whatever. And this one, instead of doing the pocket across the bottom, I did like a side pocket on this one. And that's for July. And then there's my second big pocket at the back. And this one is the popcorn and pizza. And again, it's just got plain pages in to be like a little booklet. And then we've got August, September, October, November, December. And then we've got the two blank pages before we go to the back cover. Okay, and obviously that back cover is the other half of that one. So we've got it all complete now. And we just need to join it all together. And because we lined it up, all our holes are in tune. So I just need to find a needle, but I want a needle with a really big hole, um, almost like the type of needle that you would use for sewing knitting together. And of course I can't find one now, can I? <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still coughing. Um, if you haven't got a big needle, there it is. You can probably do it by hand. I just thought it would be easier to thread it. We've got our three holes and we are going to sew it exactly the same as we would a three hole pamphlet. I've chosen to use this blue and this yellow organza. I think they're going to work very well with the retro feel. So then I'm just putting them together. I'm going to put them both through my needle, she says. That's why you need a nice big hole. I'm going to give myself plenty, plenty. I'm not cutting it off because obviously I don't know exactly how much I want at the moment. And I'm going to do a bow on the outside. So I'm just going all the way through. Okay. And then I'm going back up the bottom. Okay right across to the top exactly the same as you would do three hole pamphlet okay i'm pulling that 
down. Now I know that I have got absolutely loads, I can cut from my reels, get my reels out of the way. Okay. Whoops, I'm so sorry, my stack of stuff has just fallen and knocked the camera. Apologies for that. I hope nobody's got a major headache. Okay, so that's where we went in. We'll just tighten it all up and then exactly the same as you would always do, we're just gonna go back through to the front from there. Now, we just need to straighten these up a little bit because you can see they're all crinkly. So I'm just gonna pull them all nice and straight, pull them nice and tight. We don't want right see now I've pulled that through too far so I'm gonna to have to unthread it and go again <coughs> excuse me it always goes wrong when you're on camera doesn't it Let's just pull it all out and start again. Now, obviously, this is not something that you can do easily with a normal freehold pamphlet. Okay. Because you would be damaging your papers, but that's not obviously going to happen here. Okay. So we've gone in from the front to the back. We've come across... We're now going all the way to the top. Okay, we're gonna pull that through. There we go. Pull that nice and tight. Go back to the front, the other side of your strings as you normally do. Pull the exit, okay. So now we can give it a really nice tug. Make sure it's nice and tight as you always would we can take our needle off and we can tie this down and I'm just going to do a really big floppy bow like so and then give myself some nice long strings And just make sure that you're happy with where your strings are lying. If you want to trim them, obviously you can trim them. It's your book, you can do what you like with it. I'm just going to trim them a little bit. And there we go. So now we've got our double bow. We've got all that lovely colour on the front. And when we just open it up, because of our score lines, it opens up absolutely fine. No problem at all so there you go that is my retro poster journal diary or diary journal with happiness and crafting papers as always thank you so much for joining me have fun see you soon bye for now